Okay, so I'm going to do basic tack. My basic highlight and contour. I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna use my mascara makeup palette. These are my cream highlights, contour, and lip and cheek. Cream highlight and contour is what hack is, highlight and contour. Those three colors are gonna make up my foundation. So, and I'm gonna just use my finger today because, because I can. And we're gonna make it simple. And so I'm going in with my main highlight, which is Sandy I'm using right now. I was going back to mango because I got a little sunburn and some extra um, sun, but I decided that I didn't really, I wasn't enough sun for mango, it felt like. So I'm going back to the Sandy. So I'm just doing a really light coverage on my freckles with my finger with the, with the Sandy. I am going to do a little work on this redness on my nose though. Um, because that is a little hard to cover up with the Sandy. So I am going to go back to the mango and cover up my nose with the mango. So we're just going to do the Sandy first everywhere else. And then I'm going to do a little touch up with some mango. So I'm just going in with the Sandy normal places where you would place your, um, your foundation, your regular foundation, whether you use liquid or powder. I'm going in with my main highlight. Gives me really great coverage everywhere else. And honestly, I live in a pretty humid climate. This makeup lasts incredibly well. I'm just swiping above my jaw here, sorry. Um, stays on incredibly well in the um, humidity, the heat. Um, I do use a setting spray first. I'm sorry, a primer first, a primer spray. And right now I'm just using this Catrice Prime and Fine. It's my um, primer as well as um, my setting spray right now. Um, if you have oilier skin, um, you may want to set with a powder. I set in some areas with a powder after I'm done just because I do have oilier areas. But this cream makeup should not, don't be deterred if you have oily skin from this makeup because um, you could still use it. And it'll be great. I don't know why I did that, I just had to say that. Okay, so let me get some mango and put that on my nose right here. It just is so red. It's it's always has a little bit of redness to it and I do have a lot of freckles that are all kind of built up in one place and it makes it look like I have a bruise on my nose, I think. It's either that or I have a bruise that's lasted almost my entire lifetime. I don't know. <laughs> but right around here, it's like a brown, kind of blue, purpley look. So the um, mango really covers that really good. So I'm just going all along here. And I just decided to use my finger today because I just really felt like it. I haven't done that in a while. I've been, you know, kind of showing off the brushes and stuff that I use and and I just haven't used that. So see that? It's almost like completely covered. And we're gonna go back through and blend, but right now I'm just doing, um, and I'm gonna go a little under my eyes right here with some mango too just because I feel like there's some discoloration under my eyes and mango really does wonders for discoloration. So sometimes if you've ever gotten a color match from me, I've maybe said, well, here's your two highlight, you know, your highlight color and your brightening highlight color, but then use mango, or maybe I've chosen another color for you or June, or amber as a color corrector. We have several colors for different skin types um, and skin undertones that work really well as color correctors. So whether you have rosacea, melasma, you know, all those things, they work great. So now I'm gonna go in with my brightening highlight. This is Candlelit and I've always used the same one and I'm just gonna make like a sprout in between my brows, go down to the tip of my nose with it. And then I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna just tap some also in kind of a, I'm gonna kind of go up into the corner of my eye. I've already done my eye makeup today. I like to do my eye makeup first because um, if I get fallout from my eye makeup, then I can clean it up with the makeup. You can still do that afterwards, but I like to get it, um, get it done first and get it cleaned up. I can wipe it off and you know, then I can apply my makeup right over that. So, and I did kind of a rock star eye today. I don't know if you can see the glitter, but I did like a pink glitter. It's called uh, La La Land. And I got it a while, a little while ago and I've just been anxiously awaiting using it. And I really like, am feeling like I wanna be at a concert right now. I know we can't <laughs> be at concerts right now and that would totally be unsafe. But like it's getting closer to summer, it's getting to be nicer weather and I just miss like the thought of like concerts being canceled and stuff makes me pretty sad. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pretend. And Poison's playing right now. I love 80s rock. Earlier Stevie Nicks was playing, she's like my idol. Like I love her. Like if you know her, you better contact me and set me up for like a coffee date or something with her because she's my all time girl. Um, and so I was listening to her earlier and singing her signature song, Gypsy, which, you know, I think that she's, she is that gypsy woman. And, and I don't know, I was just getting like all the kind of gypsy rock and roll vibes during that song. And I remember back to when I saw her in concert. Um, well, I saw Fleetwood Mac in concert and she sang Gypsy, but first she came out and talked to all of us and told the story of how Gypsy, the song came about. And I just felt in that one moment, like I was actually sitting in a room with her and she was just talking to me. I don't know, I just, she's so amazing. Okay, so I can't really blend with my finger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my 30 second hack brush and I'm gonna use this domed end. And now I'm just gonna start blending all these colors that I put on together. And I'm gonna do a mixture of like kind of tapping my makeup in, but also um, maybe a little bit of swirling in some areas. If you have mature skin, certainly tapping's what you wanna do, mostly all over your face. But um, under my eyes especially, I like to tap just because the skin there is a little bit thinner, you tend to get a little bit uh, more wrinkles under your eyes. And so I just wanna make sure I'm getting that all in. Once I get up to my forehead though, I start going crazy. I just start swirling and you don't need to have a very heavy, you know, touch, just a very light touch. When you get to the contour, you kind of just want to bring that down, just drag it down. I'm kind of getting it into my hairline, but at the same time, dragging it down. As I've said before, contour is your shadow. I'm going to drag it down here too. So just want to give the illusion of shorter forehead because of course my hair is like up high here, putting my whole forehead on display. Um, on your cheeks, you want to uh, sculpt out those cheekbones. So there we go. Now, I didn't put any contour on my under here, but I can just take and draw a little bit. You need your finger for this too. And then we'll use our brush to blend out. And yeah, I have to say I was reading, I read a lot of rock and roll stuff and I was reading how Brett Michaels was supposed to be on this 80s rock and roll cruise and Brett Michaels is a type one diabetic, which is an autoimmune condition and if you need to know that um and so he's very susceptible to like he cannot get sick or you know he'll be in trouble so people were really um upset that he was canceling and not going to be on this cruise and i was like humanity like seriously people like i love rock and roll too and i would be so disappointed not to see brett michaels but when it comes to somebody's health let's be reasonable right okay so blush. My lip and cheek color, black cherry. 
I wore this yesterday. I really liked it. I've worn it lots of times before, but we're gonna do it again. So I'm just going above my contour, down the apples on my cheeks. Just tapping it in there and then we'll blend it out in a minute. I mean, if you wanna go out like this, go for it. But I'm gonna blend this in. And I think I'm probably gonna wear this on my lips today too. I'm gonna attempt, I think, to go to the grocery store just to pick up a couple more things. And, um, and I feel like kind of crazy wanting to do that. Oops, I wanna use this side first. I'm gonna blend it in with this side. This is my B squared brush or blush and bronzer brush. Um, I feel like um, it's gonna be kind of crazy there and I don't know if I really wanna go, but now that my son's gonna be off school for a while, I may need a few more things for him to eat because he's not a picky eater, but he doesn't love, you know, everything that I eat. So, or my husband eats. I'm gonna take my brush and do a little contouring. Because we're doing this rock star look, I'm just gonna go lightly. This is my detail hack brush. I really like this brush for this part. I'm just gonna kinda go under my lip just to give it kind of a poutier effect. I have this like spot here, I don't know what's going on. And then I'm gonna flip it over and put, do the same thing up top here. So it kind of gives your little above lip a little bit of pout to it too. Okay, then I'm gonna take the black cherry Okay, this color is really beautiful. It looks like a really dark purple to black almost, but it's this nice like sheen that it has. I really, really like it. I am though going to go over this with um, a little Photoshop illuminator because this is what Photoshop like here just because I like that and then I'm gonna also do that Photoshop because it's right here we'll just do that I'm gonna put that on the high points of my I couldn't even tell if I was getting it on there there we go since we're doing glam let's do this put the glittery illuminator I use glamazing illuminator on my brow bone today. I really love Glamazing. I just got that recently too. Put a little of that illuminator here on your nose. Put a little of it here on your lip. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, I don't think I'm going to add any bronzer. I usually add bronzer, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I'm going to finish it off with my, you know what, before I do that actually, my perfector sponge. I always forget this thing and I use it religiously, but I don't know why. I just, it sits over here. I have this cute little rack. It's my perfector sponge rack and it sits over there and it's not with all the stuff I'm using right here. So I forget about it. And then I end these tutorials and I think, oh my God, I forgot to do it again. So just tap all that makeup in there. It's a great blending uh, sponge. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're all blended. Now we're gonna, I try to make that less dramatic. I always like, I'm like, oh. do a little less drama today. We did drama on the face. I don't need to be so dramatic. Okay, that's it. We're all done. If you're interested in anything you saw today or want to talk about this makeup, DM me. Or you can click the link in my bio and Instagram for a custom color match. If you're on Facebook, you can click the link above for a custom color match or to shop. Have a great day. And of course, rock on.